what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i am super pumped to be back today and because of what we're doing because if you don't know i am so super obsessed with all so obsessed um so i'll be taking you guys through my shopping and decorating experience for fall this year i'm super excited to decorate my new apartment and i'm starting with what i already had which i was pretty surprised to see that i only had one bin of stuff i really thought i had way more fall decor than this but yeah some of it i wasn't really feeling at all and you'll see I don't really use all of it but some of it does fit my scheme and you'll see me use it so yeah stay tuned So my first stop was Target and when I say Target I do mean the Target dollar section. <laughs> um, fortunately my college kid budget will only allow me to do so much but the dollar section at Target is honestly amazing. They have so many options as you see here. I was cleaning up on the little ceramic pumpkins and they had a lot of different types of pumpkins. That's my list guys. Um, and my Pinterest <laughs> board you'll see me use those quite a bit throughout to stay focused on what my theme is. Um, but yeah, so this section has a ton of stuff, super cute mugs and stuff like that, as you can see with cute little autumn sayings on them. I personally didn't get any of those, but I thought they were super cute, so I decided to show them to you guys. Um, but yeah, I cleaned up here. I really was looking for a lot of like harvest and um, really like natural tones of um, fall. So you'll see me kind of fish through that kind of stuff. I got a ton of those right there. Um, but I definitely highly recommend the dollar section for those who are like, you know, I kind of just want to jazz up the place, but I don't want to do too much. You see they have Halloween stuff there, if that's your thing, to decorate for Halloween. I personally just uh, decorate for fall. Yeah, but you see all of those um, like dried plant imitations. I got some candles. They just had a lot there in the dollar section that's really, honestly, really good. Um, for fall so yeah make sure to check out your target dollar section next time you go if you're looking for some ways to spice up your apartment and stay in the budget <laughs> Next stop I made was Hobby Lobby and they actually had a 40% off all things fall sale and 50% off like table decor which included a lot of the other stuff that I got but I just love um, the color options as you can see they had a ton of stuff um, definitely a lot that was in my scheme um, here's a screenshot of like what the pricing is looking like honestly it was pretty good prices for the 40% off but you know Hobby Lobby they have pretty much anything that you're looking for um, and they have everything really awesomely categorized which was not my experience in all the other stores um, honestly being in Hobby Lobby made me want to <laughs> decorate for a house I do not have <laughs> so a lot of this I couldn't get because I only have an apartment and I don't want to you know clutter it up and make it you know just doing too much um, but I did just love 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 a lot of the options that they had I didn't end up going with a lot of this stuff um, you'll see what I ended up getting later on but yeah if you're looking for um, you know large decorating pieces signs all that kind of stuff definitely check out Hobby Lobby and I don't know how long that 40% off sale is gonna go but um, for now it's up so make sure you do that oh also always Google before you go to Hobby Lobby because there's always a coupon on their website so I got a free uh, coupon for 40% off an item at full price so I did have like one item that was full price and I got 40% off that as well so here's my <laughs> Pinterest board making an appearance again if you guys love Pinterest as much as I do you should add me I'm on their pinning all the time um, but yeah I got tons of footage of Hobby Lobby really just so you can kind of get a sense especially for those who don't really want to leave their houses yet or you know want to be way more intentional than I was when you leave and just go for what you need and get out of there I was definitely taking a mental break and just enjoying my <laughs> fall excursion so I love a lot of these natural tone I was trying to like put together an idea of a a bouquet for my house instead and you'll see I actually went with something different than this section but I'll talk about that later on in the video 
Next up was Big Lots and this honestly guys was the biggest disappointment. Big Lots used to be my main spot for getting a lot of fall decor and the one that I went to, the one that I have available to me in my city just doesn't have a lot of stuff. It was literally like two rows I think of fall stuff and just not a wide variety. So you can see some stuff here you know it was kind of cute but just not exactly what I was looking for. Um, so what I ended up with was a throw blanket. <laughs> they had throw blankets for $15 and you'll see how I use that later on. Next up, my favorite, Marshalls. I know I said Big Lots is where I get a lot of my stuff from, but actually Marshalls was always my spot for holidays. They always just have really awesome cheap options that are just cheap already. And I only get my candles, especially holiday candles from Marshalls. No, all my candles. <laughs> if you haven't gone to Marshalls for candles, you're missing out because these candles are like ranging from $3.99 to I think the most I paid was $7.99. They do have some like really large ones for like $12.99 um, but the sizes that you get for the price you pay are genius compared to most places like you're paying $15 $20 for candles with the perfect smell um, and size that they have and I love which you'll see later the casing on the candles oh my gosh it's so aesthetic <laughs> Um, next up, I checked out um, throw blankets because like I told you guys, I am adding those to the decor you'll see. And this one to me was perfect for my color scheme and just what I was going for. So that's the one I went with. And last but not least, I went to Michael's, kind of against my will because Michael's typically is out of my price range. As you can see, those pumpkins there were like $20, $25, and they're not even made of good materials though. But I do love the natural, so this is the plug that I'll show you guys later, but dried flowers is the way to go for decorating. Um, but I got mine from um, Hobby Lobby, so I'll show you that later. But yeah, they had a nice wide range of like a lot of fall stuff, so it's pr if price is not really a factor for you and you're not a broke college kid like me, then you can go to Michael's and get tons of stuff. I really came here looking for some glass bottles, um, some glass aesthetic <laughs> to add, which you'll see how I found that um, later on. But I really love this aisle. If you're going for like a blush, natural tone um, fall, they had a ton of stuff for that. And I love this, but that was like $25. <laughs> and that's not in the college kid budget. <laughs> But anyways, you see I found the glasses and I'll show you how I use them at the end. Alright guys, so I'm showing off everything that I was able to get. Um, those naturals are dried flowers from Hobby Lobby. Super cheap and definitely the vision I was going for. A lot of that was from Hobby Lobby. Actually, all of that is from Hobby Lobby. Um, the potpourri I'm super excited about. The candles and stuff from Marshalls. Um, I was telling you guys how cheap they are, but in case you didn't believe me, that's $6.99. Caramel pecan. I love the scents I got this time. $3.99 apple spice. Um, that one is pecan pie and cream. Like, I can't even begin to imagine how amazing my apartment is going to smell when I light these. This one was so exciting. It was $6.99 smoked bourbon. And look at the case on that. Ah! Such a vibe. Uh, I also got this um, soft cloth pumpkin and throw blanket, basket, and kitchen towels from Marshalls. And then these are the glass bottles I was telling you guys about that I was able to find from Marshalls. Super cheap, like $2 a bottle, somewhere I think $1 and something. My throw blanket from Big Lots that is just so cozy and I cannot wait to cuddle up to the fire with that. Um, and then this is the Target dollar spot. I got that stuff, which I am actually going to use as mantle. Um, sorry, as garland. <laughs> That's what I meant. And those pumpkins, the birdcage, and the uh, candles. So you see how I use all of that. And then, guys, I'm so excited. I got firewood finally. And you see I got a fire extinguisher because I'm not playing with these flames. I will not be the one accidentally burning my house down. <laughs> this is just the stuff that I already had. Just showing you guys once again before we start decorating. 
something about Winnie the Pooh just screams fall to me <laughs> so I had to turn it on and um, it was quite late at night uh, when I recorded this uh, because I was headed out of town the next day and I wanted to get this recorded for you guys so if you see me you know in a hair scarf and a face mask you know it, 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 just don't worry about it okay it was late and <laughs> don't worry about it just enjoy the decorating experience I'm so excited about this Hobby Lobby find. Um, if you're looking for an easy way to just add fall fragrance to your home, potpourri is the way to go. And I'm highly recommending this potpourri from Hobby Lobby. It smells so divine. Oh, you see I sniffed it, <laughs> ready to put it in this jar. Um, but yeah, I just went ahead and started dropping it in. Tried to do it somewhat aesthetically, but you know potpourri is mixed pretty well, so you don't have to work too hard. Um, but man, that fragrance is amazing. And like I said, super easy way to just add fall fragrance and aesthetic to your home. I'll be putting this up on the mantle, which you'll see a little later.
Alright, we've made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the ways that I simply decorated my apartment for fall and finally getting to decorate a fireplace mantle. I can't wait to do that for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, stick around for my future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.